today we're tackling the very real issue of how do you get water from a big container conveniently into a glass of course you could just pour it but uh, when this thing is full it's not gonna be so convenient and easy is it now are there technologies available to make that easier for you well let's delve into the issue now when might this issue arrive well even if you have running water at home inevitably you are gonna end up in a situation where you need to get water out of a big container into a small glass maybe you go camping or uh, maybe you don't have running water yet in your place or maybe because of government mismanagement you end up with no water coming out of your taps or no clean water so maybe you get your water from elsewhere there are many reasons why you might end up in a situation where you want to get water out of a big container like so into a small little glass easy and conveniently and not just once off it, you might have to do that many times in a row so you're looking for a practical way to do that well of course the first way to do it is to instead of getting something like this you get a container that already has a tap on it yeah that looks very convenient but uh, like me you, and this exact thing you might find that because this is your big container it gets treated all rough wherever you fill it up it's still heavy and you're carrying it around maybe loading it into a car or whatever and you have to pick it up onto stuff that this thing gets bumped and uh, soon you'll find out it's no longer waterproof I suspect that's what happened to this one I don't know why but it was leaking really badly you can see there I tried to fix it with white silicon and it did not work it's still leaking so that idea is out of the window for now so now we're still back to the problem how to do this conveniently get water out of this into this how do you smallify it so you so that can be practical so let's see another way is to pour it out of this into something more manageable like this this is much smaller so if you have this on the table you fill it up once and you can probably get a quite a few glasses of water out of this that's one way to do it yeah is there another yes I found this it's a loose faucet that you can screw into your big container at least that's what I thought then I found out it doesn't actually fit so if you ever see one of these just make sure you have a container that it will fit I don't know why it didn't fit. Let me try it now. You see, it's like... Or is it going to fit onto this one? No, it doesn't fit. It looks like it should. But then when I try, it actually does not. Or does it? No, it didn't take, you see. This thing is slightly too small or the thread isn't right. I don't know why they would make it like that then. Let me just try some more. No, it doesn't fit. You see, it looks like it fits and then no, it did not take. So, I don't know, maybe you should buy a container that uh, fits onto this. Maybe this is metric and this is not, or this is metric and this is not. I have no idea why it doesn't fit. It looks like it should and then it would have been easy. Then we could have put that there on the table and then it had a very convenient faucet there. But uh, yeah, since it does not fit, this is not going to be a solution for now. So we still have the problem. How do we get water out of this conveniently into this without having to pick up 20, is this 20 liters? 20 liters of water when it's still full. A lot of you may be familiar with this. This is a paraffin pump paraffin so you pump your paraffin but I don't know if it can actually be used for water I think it's gonna rust I mean look at it looks like it's already rusted all over the place and this hasn't even been in water I think it's just the moisture in the air I've never used it for water but I suppose you could have put that in there and then pumped water of course don't use it for paraffini first and then for water it says they're also suitable for what is that petrol oil thinners etc yeah, it doesn't say anything about water and it's getting rusty so no I don't think that is a solution not the one that I would recommend anyway if you have used it successfully for uh, an extended period of time let us know in the comments if that is actually practical next is this fella I run into in the store 
pretty simple you put that end into your water container and uh, then you pump this and then the water should be coming out of there although yeah that's this will probably go onto the floor for our example our glass on the table this goes into your water that must go into the glass and it's gonna throw over the glass and then you pump I've never actually used this one but as you can see it's still a bit uh, what's the word now very clumsy so no I'm not sure that's gonna be our solution although it probably would have been practical you see this thing it looks like it can also screw into your water container see it has a thread here yeah so maybe I haven't actually I actually haven't tested this I bought it once because it looked like it might be practical for something but uh, it's a little big and clumsy so I don't think it's that convenient to get water and this into this conveniently and easy Oh, there's actually water in this. Oh, I almost just made a mess. So, what do we have? Well, now we get into the more technological solutions. There is this I saw in a store. New, easy and convenient to use. It's a battery-operated drinking water pump. Endless vision making life easier. This thing was pretty practical for a while. As you can see, Maybe we'll do a video on this someday, but probably not. There's the nozzle and the what what. And then this screws off the, onto your water container. And then there is a switch. You're gonna put your batteries in. Let's see, in there. Put your batteries. Two big flashlight batteries, if I remember correctly. Now, well, was I supposed to put this on first? Now I don't know where this is supposed to go anymore, but anyway, there as you can see is a switch, on and off switch, and then it starts making and it pumps the water. Let me show you an assembled one. I actually bought one before this one. This was supposed to be my spare for when the other one broke. Here's what it looks like when it's assembled. Obviously just the color was that green turquoise color, not this. You put this inside your water container. And this is supposed to screw onto the thing and then uh, you switch on and the water comes out there like a faucet. Worked pretty well, but uh, again, I don't get it. If you get it, please tell me why I don't get it. This is supposed to fit there. Oh, actually, this is too small a container. I had another bigger one that I used for this. Oh, no, it can fit. I forget these parts can move. But now again, you see our problem here. This ring, actually it seems we should put that ring on first. This ring doesn't go onto this. Or does it? I remember on the other container, no, it did not actually fit. Is it supposed to go this way? Don't tell me I just had it upside down on the other container. Let's see quickly. See now. Doesn't work this way around. So this ring actually was supposed to be this way around. And now what have we got? Let's see. Is it actually screwing into the thread? No, it's not. It doesn't take at all. And I think this container is a bit too small. I need a 25 liters, I think, and this is just 20. Yeah. Anyway, yes, with the other one I also had a problem. It, I couldn't get this to fit onto the, onto the mouth of the bottle. And another thing happened, I don't know if it's because I spray painted it, because I needed it a copper color for a movie I was making. So it looked like a copper faucet that was dripping water out. But uh, yeah, either because of the paint or because it got wet with use. The battery is actually rusted inside. Let me see what it looks like now. I have taken out the batteries, but you see there, this wire or spring or coil is completely rusted. No, it's not completely rusted. What was rusted? I remember something was rusted, but anyway, 
Yeah, with use, I couldn't get the batteries to make contact anymore. I had to wiggle the thing, and then sometimes it worked and sometimes not. And eventually, no, I just gave up on it. So our problem is still, how do we get water out of this? Conveniently do a glass, as if you have running water, even though it's not running water. And it seems to me like we've gone through all our solutions now, except this one. And Dell automatic water dispenser. I have taken it out and charged it. It works with a USB cable that you charge it with. And uh, yeah, then it works by itself. So let's test this one. I just haven't used it yet. I just wanted to make sure it was charged for this video. So I charged it. This box inside the box. A little silicone pipey. A little paper. Let's see if there's something of interest. Product parameter, installation instruction, insert the silicone tube and so on and so forth. Yes, we'll do that. Operating instructions, press the power button once. The model works regularly with the flow out indicator long brights. Two, press the power button twice. The 600 milliliter indicator long brights and the model will pump 600 milliliter water first, then automatically shut down and stops working. Most amusing, most amusing. What else have we got here? Ah, there is the unit, that is the unit, I think it also had a USB cable in it, I charged it and now I did not put it back, but anyway, there's a little straw thingy, and there's your unit, take it out, that's what it looks like, there's your power button, I'm not gonna press it now until we have it in water. So this thing has a little, what is that, rubber or silicone, put it in there, and now we have a little faucet, faucet pump all in one. Oh, we also needed to attach this pipe, there in the bottom, uh, two ends are the same, so we're just gonna put this on there, it seems that's all, and now we got this, okay, now, Will it fit on here? I don't think so. Oh, well, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't screw in, but it does. It does go nicely over, and it seems to rest on there pretty stable. I just need more water in there, so I think this is gonna work. I see on the picture they have it on like one of those blue uh, water fountain bottles. So will it fit better on one of those? Let's see. Pipe goes in. Oh, also it doesn't sit securely on it. Now it seems it's not supposed to be securely on anything. It just rests on it. But uh, yeah, it should be fine. Now we just need some water in this, and then we can start pumping. Let me just get a smaller something or other that has water in it, and we'll test out this sucker. Okay, I'm back with some water. Now we can test out our little friend, the, what is this, faucet or pump here. So is our problem now solved? Let's see. Ah, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, I tell ya. Let me do a close up of that again. So here's our unit, here's our glass. There's the button, we press it. And I press to stop. Yeah. I don't know if you saw there, it lit up pretty nice when I did that. Let me do it one more time. Oh, yeah, we have to keep it up straight by the looks of it. Why is it having problems now? Oh, I lifted the pipe up too high. Yeah, you must keep the pipe in the water. It must be underwater, preferably at the bottom of your container, of course. And uh, yeah, then it can keep pumping. Don't let it run dry. I assume that's bad for the unit. One more time. Oh. 
No, it still sounds like it's having a bit of problems, but I think I know what it is. It's this pipe. You see, it's it's there knacking. What's knacking in English? Yeah, you mustn't let it knack. It must be straight, so would, so the water can flow freely. Yeah, but obviously that won't be such a problem if you use a bigger container. Yeah, they also said something there about pressing it twice and it'll do. Uh, only 600 milliliters then shut off automatically but anyway I think this so far is my favorite solution to our issue yeah I love it that was pretty convenient and fun and uh, you won't want to stop once you start like a little child you just want to keep doing it and doing it and pumping water and pumping more water and putting it back and pumping even more because this product makes it fun oh just don't put it down on the table when you're done with it because there is still a little bit of water in the little pipe and you'll get it all over your table okay that then is the Andel automatic water dispenser yeah I think this is my solution that I love most for now anyway not sure how long it's gonna last before it gives problems but I'm sure it will give me satisfactory results for a satisfactory time now hit the like and subscribe button please and I'll see you in the next one and we can talk about more stuff see you around